A very good day to you ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Candy Talk here on Haman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Evan Sokini and I'm glad to have you on this special edition of the Candy Talk under this special tree here. I'm here with uh, Professor Haman Manyora. How are you sir? Good. Mm. Very good. I can see you're, you, 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 you're still looking at your phone. Uh, what are you really confirming? Are you worried about uh, the kind of time that we are uh, taking to solve our issues here as a country? No, 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 I'm not worried. Ah. We need more time. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, yes. as, 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 as uh, Dr. Minwa says, we are not hurrying for anything. The country needs to move on. This is our country. Where are we going? <laughs> so, we have all the time to solve our issues here. Yeah. I want us to get into this conversation about term limits. Of course, this is not the, even the first time that we are here. You remember way back, there's a member of parliament from uh, northeastern Kenya, just at the beginning of uh, President William Ruto's tenure, who actually uh, brought this kind of a proposal about increasing uh, the, 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 the term limits, of course, of the president back then. And, and it was just rubbished back then. But then we are here having it now. Seriously, the Nandi senator, Samson Cherargei is back with it and of course as we talk people are being called upon to give their response on the same I wonder whether you've also responded to the uh, request by the National Assembly to provide your response on this thing well I haven't mm. I've not had the time okay but I know many other Kenyans who say things perhaps I would have said mm -hmm. yeah do you think it's necessary to have this kind of conversations at this particular yes, moment yes, when yes. we are oh, very facing a, a, a crisis as a country? Very healthy. Mm -hmm. We need to talk about our, about our governance, mm -hmm. about our covenant, mm -hmm. uh, our constitution, all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking is what is healthy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Having a conversation about our constitution, about certain aspects, is very healthy. Actually, it's desired, desirable. We should do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the manner in which um, the UDA party, and of course I've seen the leader of the majority in uh, the National Assembly, Akimani Shungwa, say that uh, this is his and this motion is not going to pass whatsoever. That's what he says. Uh, but, but then uh, it's there and we are seeing it alive. Do you think that perhaps this amounts to some sort of mischief from the ruling party? Are they being sincere? Well, because at the same, at, at the beginning, it's their own senator who's actually brought about this motion. Then uh, the leader of the majority comes back uh, again and says that it's dead on arrival. What but you see, one, I don't care what, what uh, Kenya Kwanzaa or UDA thinks. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, <laughs> every member has a right to bring motions or bills to the house. <laughs> to ventilate on, on motions and bills. That's what they are paid to do. So, Charalge is quite in order. The person who is out of order is uh, Kimani Shungwa. Was he speaking as Kimani Shungwa MP, Kikuyu constituency, or as majority leader? That's a very powerful office. Powerful office, majority leader. So, is he saying that's what the House has decided? Him, he, he, he can't speak as an ordinary member of parliament. Mm -hmm. So what if, when it comes to parliament, so how does he process it? He's the one to move it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how will he move that which he doesn't believe in? Mm -hmm. He must give members the opportunity to process the bill or the motion, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So Ishungwa is out of order. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Cheralge is quite in order. Mm -hmm. There has been, uh, they say, about diversionary tactics that are being used by the government to actually detract people from focusing on the real issues that are affecting Kenyans. Of course, it's out here and every Kenyan knows that uh, all the, most of the problems that have been bedeviling us as a nation haven't been uh, discussed and haven't been solved yet. We had the issue about uh, impeachment of the uh, deputy president here with us. And again, we are now witnessing this other motion. And of course, the, it's like the, the conversation must is move changing. On. You can't are, say are, we really, are, are we really getting distracted? No. Really? Mm. Why are we allowing ourselves to get distracted? Mm. Why? Mm. Why would we allow ourselves to get distracted? It's just the absence mm. of seriousness on the part of Kenyans that is a problem. Mm. For example, this, this, this bill from... Is it a motion or a bill or whatever? A bill from... Cheryl Gay mm -hmm. on term limits being extended from five to seven years mm -hmm. must occupy the minds of senior lawyers in this country, of bar associations mm -hmm. in this country. LSK, uh, this one, other one is called what? They have about three of those bar associations. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about LSK. 
we also have an informal grouping of senior council. These people must sit down and look at that bill critically and look at where the danger could be. But like I say in this country, we are either busy chasing money or we just don't have brains. There's the danger in that general gay bill. Mm -hmm. And I've not heard anybody say it. I was interviewed by some media house yesterday. Is it a radio station or, or a newspaper? Mm -hmm. I said the danger, the conversation is in order. But there's a danger in that general gay bill. So where's the danger here? The danger is here. MPs are being told your term will be extended. Do you think they will fail to vote for that bill? They will. Mm -hmm. Senate will. National Assembly will. Let's assume they will. Then it goes to the president. When a bill goes to the president for assent, there are three possibilities, or slightly more. But the main one, first, he assents to the bill and it becomes law. Secondly, he looks at issues that he doesn't agree with and sends a memorandum mm -hmm. to, the, to the House to change aspects of that bill. Mm -hmm. And they require two thirds to do it. Many times they can't raise that, so the, the president ends up making law. Mm -hmm. Another problem in our constitution. The third way is if a president looks at a bill and says, this bill requires a referendum, he sends it to IBC to organize a referendum. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm inviting senior lawyers and young sharp lawyers. I saw one young sharp lawyer from Mta. Kumbe kuna kitu na hitwa siju wakili wa Mta or something like that. Sheria mtaani something like that. Very sharp young man. I think one or two young men. Even this one, even this young man who is on the side of uh, the other side, not the Gashago side, with a funny Meru name. I saw him when he was coming up, when he was young. I said, this is a sharp lawyer. The president then can send it to IBC. Now, here is where the danger is. Mm -hmm. The bill lands on the desk of the president. And the president looks and says, okay. The constitution says, in terms of extending a pres the presidential term limit, you need a referendum. Mm -hmm. So he writes back to parliament that this bill is offending the constitution only in so far as it meant it includes the president so remove the president and it goes back to parliament so it becomes law <laughs> and therefore mps do seven years mcs got everybody seven years <laughs> one would argue the term of parliament and the term of president are tied yes they are twins but not conjoined <laughs> it is in Visig that one can go and leave the other for example, mm -hmm. if the Maraga advice had been followed and parliament was dissolved by Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. the president wasn't going with them. So they are not conjoined. Mm -hmm. So that argument of the life of parliament is tied to the, to the life of the president is flawed. Mm -hmm. And therefore the danger is, once it is cleverly put that way, then MPs have been added two years. You can imagine the psychophants we have today. The cheap MPs we have today, how much cheaper they will become. Mm -hmm. How much more beholden they will be to the president. And what sort of danger we can run the country into. Mm. In terms of absolute power for the president. Because the people who should put him in check are celebrating another two years given to them. That's where the danger is. Mm. Mm. So yeah. make me understand this. Because Kenyans are wondering if... Yes. Already the problems that are bedeviling this country have not been solved, as I'm telling you. Yes. Why, why, why are you saying that it's healthy for us to have such kind of conversation? A conversation is <laughs> healthy. <laughs> but the must, society will always have people, mm -hmm. men and women endowed, <laughs> placed in certain places <laughs> by circumstances, by history. <laughs> And I'm saying such a man are a learned man and women in terms of the legal profession mm -hmm. who should be seeing what I'm seeing okay. and speaking on behalf of the Kenyan people mm -hmm. that there's a danger in this bill and this is what we are seeing. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the lobby to have that, that bill defeated in the National Assembly or in Senate. Mm -hmm. The moment the people know you are tricks and challenge the president mm -hmm. that if you ever did that, You'll be violating this, you'll be violating this and so on. 
and even people moving to court the way they moved for BBI. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, there's nothing wrong with Cheryl Gay bringing a conversation around, around term limits. Mm -hmm. No, there's nothing wrong. Uh, but then uh, we, we, we are seeing this actually just targeting them. MPs. I've not seen it uh, maybe talk about the governors. No, it is everybody. So everybody? Yeah. So we are going to have a situation. MCS, members. Mm -hmm. women rep, mm -hmm. members of National Assembly, mm -hmm. senators, governors, president. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of them. A whole lot of them? Yeah, six of them. Huh. Yeah. At a time when uh, issues of governance are not actually going there's on There's nothing well wrong. No, and there's then, nothing wrong. So, so make me what understand. What Kenyans must do mm -hmm. is to be woke like the boy, boys and girls say in this country. Mm -hmm. Stay woke. Mm -hmm. And because the Normal, the average person in the street doesn't have the capacity to engage on this bill at that level. And because it may not land to, uh, to, to Kenyans through a referendum, through that trick I've said, mm -hmm. then it is those men and women who have been placed by history somewhere. You have gone to school. Society has educated you. Mm -hmm. Speak for society. Don't just carry stupid titles. Speak for society. They're Kenyans. If you are a lawyer, don't just put on a nice suit and speak English. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for money, for instructions. Your country is calling upon you as a senior lawyer today to look at the danger in that bill mm -hmm. and save society. Okay. You can't blame Gerald Gay. We will need this. Another one has also brought one. Or four years. Yeah, I have seen. I have seen yes. by uh, Karamuathan. Of course, he yeah. has brought one about four years. That's a good conversation. We need that. Mm -hmm. Everything has a merit and dismerit. Mm -hmm. The important thing, people have to have a conversation around it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, tricks, everybody thinks it will go for a referendum. Mm -hmm. I'm only opening their eyes and I'm not a lawyer. Mm -hmm. That it can cleverly, they can cleverly avoid a referendum. Mm -hmm. And the intention is not to give the president another two years. Mm -hmm. No. Is to have the president have leaders who are beholden to him, so beholden that they have no voice. That's where the danger is. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. The certain um, section of Kenya. The danger, the president knows if you extended his term, the country would be on fire. Okay. And he wouldn't go in that direction. He's not a fool. Mm -hmm. The idea is toss this thing to MPs. Let them have another two years. Mm -hmm. So that it rolls down all the way to the governors yeah. and the MCs, and yes. at least you shall have uh, fire on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. because that, 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 in my thinking, that's where the danger is. Mm. It may not reach a referendum. Mm. And everybody's waiting for it, a referendum. But this goes, also takes us back to the thinking uh, that uh, the framers of the 2010 constitution had. Because, of course, there was that, uh, at least that, that, that option of going for the seven year term. Why did they then opt for the five-year thing? And then here we are still wobbling around and uh, trying to... Uh, they are always here. They are four years. Those amendments. They are four years like America. They are five. I think South Africa is also four years. They are five years in other jurisdictions. They are seven years like in France, I think, and so on. So they're this, these are just years. Born out of history, out of practice, out of coping, other jurisdictions. These are just years. The danger in five years and why seven years, why Kenyans may not allow it, may not accept it, may not like it rather, is that our MPs have done nothing to endear themselves to Kenyans. So it's like that visitor in your house whom you can't wait to hear him say, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so Kenyans would want the MPs to go. Unfortunately for Kenya, they will put that house, they will pack the house with similar idiots. <laughs> Allow me to call them idiots. Okay. And look at that. Look at, look at how they process them in every election. Almost 70% of them go, confirming what I'm saying. So Kenyans don't love their parliamentarians. Mm -hmm. No love lost. So to here they can be added another one month, leave alone two years. Kenyans will go crazy. So that is that's the disadvantage of the seven-year suggestion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you part of the Kenyans who believe that uh, the government have misplaced priorities here? Of course. Mm -hmm. There are better things to do. Mm -hmm. Americans will say there's better fish, bigger fish to fry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But why are you saying it's healthy to have these conversations? A conversation is healthy. In the process of that converse, conversation, certain things arise. When there is a conversation, young man, mm -hmm. it is not always what has been brought on table that ends up being discussed. Other issues of necessity inevitably come up. 
then we become wiser through our conversation. We may abandon the whole idea of seven years, but something good will come out of this conversation. Oh, we hadn't seen this. Somebody else can now say, support Manyora and Atoli. Why don't we have seven years only for the president and he goes away? That's Atoli's suggestion. It's my suggestion. One term and he goes away. Not to come again. You know, the danger is when you are elected as a president, you are always looking for ways of endearing yourself to voters so that they can re-elect you. <laughs> and you commit a lot of mistakes. You make a lot of mistakes. There are a lot of blunders. You compromise on governance. You compromise on development so that you buttress your chances of re-election. So assuming we now have only seven years, you don't have to please anybody. You only have the Kenyan people to please. And you are not going back for votes. I would advocate for seven years. One term. <laughs> Something else I would advocate for. Why this conversation is good from uh, Dangwa. Da? Karuwa Dangwa. Or Dangwa. Mm -hmm. uh, I met him recently when I was getting out of Spice FM when he was entering. Mm -hmm. This year, of, this one of four years, and this one of seven years. <laughs> We need to, to get something else out of it. Why don't you also copy, since you are very good at copying, why don't you copy the American midterm, midstream, midterm mm -hmm. elections? Mm -hmm. So that we don't elect all MPs at once. We, we elect them on a rotational basis. Say, out of the 290, we may elect 200 once. And this 90, we will elect them midstream. So that elections are held every five years, every seven and a half years. Like that, something like that. Midstream. There are elections. Because there are changes happening, there are line, realignments and so to be reflected in our National Assembly. Mm -hmm. So these are conversations we can have. Therefore, I, 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 really, I really applaud Charal Gay for bringing this issue. Mm -hmm. I applaud uh, Wadangwa for bringing... Eh? This name is so difficult. <laughs> Dangwa. <laughs> Wadangwa. Uh, who? Karu? <laughs> Karungo. Karungo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why does he have such a difficult name? <laughs> but he has a brain. When I listen to him, I can see he has a brain. Eh? Uh -huh. You know, for me to say you have a brain, you must actually have a brain. Mm -hmm. Because I value people who think. Mm -hmm. And I know one of the problems, the biggest problem we have in this country. Mm -hmm. First, we don't have many people. Our education has not pro produced people who think, mm -hmm. who can solve problems. And the other problem, of course, even those few, nobody cares to find out where they are and what they can do for society. Mm -hmm. So that guy has a brain. Mm -hmm. And that idea is a good idea. Four years, bring it on. Bring, bring it on the table. Let's have a look at it. Let's look at seven years. We may tell them, no. Thank you. Four years, no. Seven years, no. We remain with our five. But we'll pick a few things in the discussion that will build this country for tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So for those who are actually opposing this, um, the additional uh, two, two years here, saying that, look, right now we are at a position that we can't even describe. We can't understand what is actually taking place in the country with regards to how things are being run here. How then do you expect us to, 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 to actually manage another two extra years with the kind of members of parliament we People are People are saying the weight, president the all weight is so much, they can't, <laughs> I can't imagine another extra day. Mm -hmm. That Tuesday, of every 50 is what Kenyans are waiting for. Mm -hmm. And you can see the number of MPs will go away. No more, no less than 80% will go home, mm -hmm. will not come back. Okay. Because people can't stand them. Mm -hmm. So another two years is madness. Nobody can even imagine. Mm -hmm. But they could be forced, it could be forced on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And things happen and we just keep quiet. IBC is not in place. Mm -hmm. There are people who don't have MPs. The law is clear that. Once a seat falls vacant, within a certain specific time, the speaker must, one speaker has issued the risk that this seat is vacant, mm -hmm. an election must be held. Mm -hmm. There are people without MCS, there are people without MCS. Here the president finds himself in, in trouble because his nominee for deputy president to replace Gashagwa mm -hmm. must come from IBC and there's no IBC. So these conversations are good because we now get thinking, by the way, is it possible these bad things can happen and we keep quiet? Yes. So many bad things have happened and we have done nothing about them. Hmm. So even if these MPs extend their term, we will make noise for a short while and life will continue. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, from Professor Haman Manure here. But then the question now remains to you. 
What's your opinion? Do you think that it's the right time for us to have a conversation about term limits and all that when the country is actually facing more uh, challenges and of grave consequence? Uh, and we must end this uh, before we end. Mm -hmm. We must invite our viewers mm -hmm. to take advantage of, of our huge following, mm -hmm. the huge viewership we have of millions of viewers every month. Mm -hmm to partner with us so that we can advertise their products and services mm -hmm. because the number of viewers we have unrivaled in the whole country should be put to use by people who want to grow their businesses. Yeah. Definitely well put by Professor Haman Manyura way in on this conversation and as I've told you, tell us what you think about the conversation that we've just had here. Till we have this conversation again, have yourself a lovely day. My name is Evans Okini. Okay.